we have the highest lung cancer rates in the United States. In the tri-state? In the tri-state. You're kidding, why? Yeah. Because it's the heaviest smoking area of the United States. But as one journal pointed out, sometimes there can be fire without the smoke. What does that mean? Well, yeah. people who've never had a cigarette make up a growing percentage of lung cancer diagnoses. It is actually 10 to 15 percent and largely environmental. Radon gas and pollution are two big contributors. I met a man who is not the typical face of the disease. Just turned 37 last month, okay. October 11th. Birthdays mean more when you're fighting a life-threatening illness. Got the phone call uh, and the doctor's like, Tim, uh, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you, you have lung cancer. You gotta hold my hand, sweetie. Right <laughs> this young oh. husband and father is not who you might consider the typical face of the disease. I cried a lot. <laughs> I cried a lot. In addition to the fact he's just in his 30s, he never smoked. This is the, the, uh, what we believe to be the original tumor. So his stage four diagnosis came as a shock. I think there's a sense that, well, most people with lung cancer are smokers, so they did it to themselves, which is very unfair because we're seeing more and more lung cancer in non-smokers. UC's Dr. John Morris is the physician Tim chose to guide him through his battle. He offered uh, hope, he offered uh, um, a chance of uh, 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 treatment that uh, at the time was very new. And it was a combo of an immunotherapy drug and chemotherapy. It has made a dramatic difference. I mean, he was very symptomatic when I first saw him. Yeah. And as you can see, he's minimally symptomatic or not asymptomatic now. One reason Tim's spreading the word about the importance of research, how funding for it can make survivability possible. It means there's an opportunity that can, he can be around longer, that you know, he'll be there to see Scarlett grow up. I put on this wristband and I, and I see that it says beat lung cancer and that's my goal, that's what I'm here to do. Tim and his wife are thinking future oriented. They want to grow their family. And Dr. Morris says he's careful about using the word cure, but that is his goal for Tim. Our conversation came on the eve of an even bigger discussion through UC called Hope Fight Breath. It's offering the latest in lung cancer research, screening and treatment. It's free and it's at the Courtyard Marriott by Rookwood Commons. That's tomorrow from 8 in the morning until 1.30 in the afternoon. For more information, all you have to do is call 513-558-2500.